In this video, we're going to go over a small data project that you can follow along with me step by step. We're going to use a formula to analyze and prepare our data for a chart that we're going to connect to our data. So if you want to follow along, click the link in the description that will download the raw data CSV spreadsheet file into your downloads folder and then upload the data into your Google spreadsheet as I'll show you in this video. After you've downloaded the raw data, click File, Import, click Upload, Browse, and then select the spreadsheet file that has the raw data on it. In this case, it's called Pie Chart Data. And then click the drop down and select Replace Data at Selected Cell. You can see that cell A1 is selected, and this is where we want our data to start in the first cell, and then click Import Data. OK, so now we have our raw data in our spreadsheet. And so what we want to do is create a pie chart that shows the total amount of money spent on each different category. But as you can see, this data contains different line items for each category. And so in this case, we can't connect our pie chart directly to this data as it is because we need to summarize it by using a formula. So the first thing that we're going to do is list the different categories that are here. And to do that, what we're going to use is a formula called unique. Now let's add our header here. And we're going to type equals unique parentheses, and then we're going to specify the range that we want to remove duplicates from. The unique function removes duplicates from a specified range, which in this case is going to give us a condensed list that shows one of each different category. And so I'm going to select cell B2 through B13. And actually, I'm going to delete row 13. That way, this formula will be able to calculate for any number of rows of data that are entered in the future because it's referring to the remainder of column B. Now I'm going to press Enter. And here you can see that our formula has listed one of each different category. Now that we have our categories, what we want to do is calculate the total amount of money spent for each category. And so how we're going to do this is by using a formula called sum if we are going to sum column C if column B is equal to the specified cell. And so for this formula, we're going to tell Google Sheets sum column C if column B is equal to the word rent. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to type equals sum if parentheses. And the first thing that it's asking us to input is the range. And in this case, we're going to specify the criteria range, the column that contains the criteria that we're searching for. And in this case, that's column B. And so I'm going to select column B, which automatically filled in the formula with B colon B. Then I'm going to type a comma in my formula. And now it wants criteria. And in this case, the criteria is going to be cell E2, which is the word rent. Now I'm going to type another comma, and now it wants the sum range, the range that we want to sum if the criteria is met. And in this case, we want to sum column C. Now I'm going to press Enter. And as you can see, the total amount spent on rent is $2,400. That's this value plus this value right here. But the formula did it automatically for us. So again, we're telling Google Sheets to sum column C, where column B is equal to the value that is in cell E2. Now the cool thing is now we can simply copy this formula down without having to input each formula manually for each row. And so I'm going to hover my cursor over this little dot in the bottom right corner of the cell, and this crosshairs appears. It's called the fill handle. Then I'm going to click my mouse and hold the click, 
drag my cursor downwards until I've reached the spot where I want to fill the formulas to. Then I release my click and it automatically filled the formulas down. You could have done the same thing by copying and pasting the cells down the column. It's the same thing. But our formula has automatically filled in here. And as you can see, it automatically changed the references each time the formula was copied down the row, which is exactly what we wanted. OK, so now we have the data in the format that we need to connect to our pie chart. We're showing the total amount spent for each different category. Each different category is only shown once. And this is actually really easy from here. All we need to do is select the data that we want to connect to our pie chart, and then click Insert Chart. In this case, Google Sheets automatically created a pie chart. It knew that we wanted a pie chart. But if it does not automatically put the correct chart when you insert it, you can change the chart type here under the Setup tab in the Chart Editor. So the only thing left to do, if you want, is to customize your chart. And I'll do that really quickly here because I don't want this video to get too long. But personally, I don't like the default charts. And so let's make some rapid changes to this pie chart to make it look a little bit better. If the chart editor is not already open, you can simply double click on the chart that will open up the chart editor. I'm going to click on the legend, which automatically opens up the legend menu under the Customize tab. And I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to make the size just a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to click on the title, which opened up the title menu under the Customize tab. And I'm going to center the title and make it bold, and then change the color to black. And then if you want, you can change the color of the pie slices. I've clicked on one of the slices, which opened up the pie slice menu under the Customize tab. And from here, I can select whatever colors I want for each different slice. So I'm selecting groceries. I'll make it a more vibrant red. To me, those colors look a little bit better. So now you know how to not only make a pie chart, but you know how to get your data in a format that can be connected to a pie chart when your data looks like this where you have multiple categories that you want to summarize together. Now there's one more really cool customization that I want to show you for pie charts, which is called slice labels. And so currently our chart is showing the percentage that each pie slice represents. But what we want to do is add the values, or in this case, the dollar amounts that are represented by each pie slice. And so how we do that is click the customize tab, open the pie chart menu, and then under the slice label option, click value. Then I'm going to make them bold, and just a little bit bigger. And as you can see on the chart, the dollar amounts that represent each pie slice or each category have appeared on the chart now. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you want to take my full dashboards course to go all the way from beginner to advanced with your Google Sheets skills, then check out the video in the description below.